you're still tuning into the best show in the motherland this channel 260 this is xc and of course man we have a special guest in the studio right now third time's a charm for this man man all the way from my nova park to the idol stage top number five in the building right now please ladies and gentlemen a round of applause for the dale and sass mm. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, but before we eat into the conversation right yeah. now, we have a little snippet to show the viewers back at home. made up to start again where I was before nothing's gonna stop me now that was Dalen says of course if you guys remember him from idols 2021 top five all the way from my Nova Park Right, so yeah. from that stage afterwards, people were screaming your name, the Western Cape, but Stalin says smile. <laughs> so tell me, what was the journey like after the Idols essay? To be honest with you, Idols put me on that platform that I feel like I've deserved mm. since I was like five years old. So like being there, like it's been absolutely amazing. The experience mm. was amazing. And getting the top five spot was all that I needed just to skyrocket my career into the right direction. And the journey has been absolutely amazing mm. since then, man. It's been an amazing two years now since I've been on that stage. So it's been absolutely amazing, yeah. And you're speaking about speaking things that have been skyrocketing and the journey has been absolutely amazing. You just launched while well, hosted your first Christmas. Well, your Christmas carols that happened last yeah. year in November, well, last year, December 2022. Uh -huh. What was the inspiration behind the sassy Christmas for the Dale and Sass? I feel like there haven't been a, a Christmas concert like that before. Mm. So I lost my mother in April and we've been in the COVID pandemic for like two or three years. Mm. So we didn't get time to like spend time with our families that we haven't seen in the, that time. So I just thought, you know what, give a Christmas concert, like Santa Claus is amazing at what he does. This is my gift to you and a sassy Christmas was born. You were bringing Santa to town. Yeah, you and I like, put a bit of sass in exactly there for Exactly, you're like, yeah, <laughs> something you've been waiting for, I'm giving it to you. Yeah. So, you know, we always ask in the creatives, like, while the artist, where the creativity comes from, and people tend to say that the motivation derives from the experiences or the upbringing. Mm. Would you say there's some, it's similar to your experiences or the way you create be, and write your music? To be honest with you, um, I haven't been writing for a couple of years now. Um, and I am busy recording a, a single for everyone that's coming out in Valentine's Day, hopefully. The I don't month know, of I don't love. Know. So, like, if I write or I put pen to paper, mm. if it's going to be a pop song, it's going to be a pop song. But if I write and it ends up becoming a rock song, that's exactly what it's going to be. Mm. Um, a lot of rappers have the freedom to sing about their upbringings and the um, disadvantaged communities that they come from. But for singers like myself, we sing about heartbreak and we sing about falling in love. Mm. So either or, like, yeah, it's... And you speaking about singers like yourself, who would you say you look up to in terms of your music genre or your idol? Or, like, so I'm going many. to say idols. Who was the person okay. that you were like, I'm <laughs> going for you? There are so many. If we're going to speak locally, I'm going to say Jimmy Nevers. Hi, Jimmy, wherever you are, if you're watching. You also just released a new album. Yes, and it Absolutely. sounds amazing. It's amazing. I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan, and he knows it. Um, so, yeah, locally, Jimmy Nevers. Um, and then I'm going to say Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, and Josh Groban. Josh yeah. Groban, yeah. he's actually my mother's favorite. So yes, you guys are the same WhatsApp group. Yeah, no, I love it. Same WhatsApp group. But I think Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, absolutely amazing, yeah. amazing singers. And you definitely, you know, you're there. You're there. Almost, almost. You almost. are there. Not and I was, I was actually there. watching some of your previous interviews and you always like, 
Sam Smith, yeah, yeah. Celine, Celine Dion. Dion. You know, they what he used is, to, I love them. If you, you have to check my Spotify, you'll only see Celine, Whitney, Josh Groban. Mm. Yeah. And you were mentioning earlier that you have a single that might yes. be coming yes. out. It's for everybody that has been asking me since Mark Me Famous. Two years ago. When is new music coming? And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to take a break, focus on live performing. Mm. And that's what I did. I haven't written anything until my best friend and I just sat down and I was like, you know what, I have this idea just to write a love song about falling in love because I met my special someone and I'm engaged and stuff like that. You know, it's so, the month of love. Some yeah. of us are engaged. Some of us are not in relationships. There's Others, you know, we're doing time. long distance vibes. <laughs> but you know what? We, we all speaking about Sam Smith and the yeah. Grammys just took place. Beyonce Come was on. absolutely amazing. I'm upset though. And Sam Smith gave us a performance. He did. To die the devil for. himself. The unholy man. Yeah. What, what, would you, what, what is your thing to say about this? Or give us in two sentences what you felt about that. The thing. Grammys as a whole, I feel like it's a scam. Beyonce didn't get album of the year once again, and I'm just going to leave it over there. I am done with the Well, game. you know, many of us have many things to say. <laughs> and right now, we have a Stan Smith and Beyonce Stan in the studio. Yeah. So, that, you know, that's understandable. It's understandable. It's understandable. But you know what? Right now, I think the people at home really want to know what Taylor says. His voice sounds like right. after years, you know, and they are waiting for your single to come out soon. But right yeah. now, man, this is Taylor Sass with cover Bruno Mars, man. I'm going to leave the door open. Please make your way to the music block. Woo! Ooh. What you, what you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you got plans? You got plans. Don't say that. I'm sipping wine in a robe. I look too good to be alone. My arms gleam, my pool warm. I just said we should be dancing, romancing in the east wing and the west wing. Now this mansion was happening. I am playing no games. Everyone that I say is coming straight from the heart. So if you try to lay in these arms, I'ma leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open, girl. I'ma leave the door open. Ooh, oh. Can't you feel the way I'm feeling? You're like I want you tonight, baby. Let's go. La la la. La 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 la. La la la. La 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 la. La la la. La 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 la. Incredible, and I love Thank you more you. because you love Beyonce. Right now, yeah. though, a quick ad break for you and yours. <laughs> 